I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. We're ready to get this thing started. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Caught open field, and they push him out right around the 36-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. And he's level at the 30. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From the 30-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. He makes his way to about the 18. Big play, and it's first and goal. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Touchdown, North Carolina! And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 30-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. North Carolina to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. North Carolina is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They bring him down in the backfield. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Second down at 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. And they get the sack. He's going to air it long. And he's got it. Going the other way now. Tackle at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line. First down. North Carolina is up by a touchdown. Looks left, finding his tailback. Knocked out of bounds at about the 31. That brings up second and nine. Throws it to the outside. He's hit and taken down. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. And he's taken down at the 33. back 
Wright's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. After a decent pickup. That's good for a game four yards. That makes it better to me. Just throws this one away. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. North Carolina is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up. And he splits the uprights. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 10-0, North Carolina. He sends this one deep. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. The Tar Heels really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down right around the 30. Gaining four yards. That will bring us 32. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. time. Throws in a hurry. Brought down at the 24-yard line. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Waits. And down he goes at the 12-yard line. Makes the catch. Morris is with the tackle at the 12-yard line. First From the 12-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there. And they make the stop at the four-yard line. Tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, Notre Dame! Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. The Tar Heels defensive back left the game with that injury earlier. Looks like he's going to be able to get back in the secondary. Notre Dame is ready to kick it away. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. North Carolina is up a field goal. Quick pass intercepted. Inside the 30. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From the 15-yard line, first down. And he's tackled right around the six-yard line. 
That brings up second and nine. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They'll work the left side. Scooped up by the defense. Room around the corner. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow them down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Defense in their short yardage package. at the two-yard line. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. North Carolina's got a three-point lead. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This one should be makeable. Notre Dame is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Throwing left. It's picked off. He goes out of bounds. The 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, first down. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. He makes it to the 42-yard line. With a quick throw. And they couldn't hook up on that one. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. 
Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made around the 43 yard line. He's taken down at the 44. It out and it's the tight end again. That's a great tackle at the 39. Nice run to the left there. Bring him down to the 21 yard line. First down, 10 to go. All on the 21. Here's the halfback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Out of bounds at the 15-yard line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. North Carolina is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 27. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws complete. He's hammered. That brings him second and five. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First down. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Going right to his tailback, and he tackles him hard at the 41. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Brought down at the 35. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. From the 38 yard line, it's second down. He 
He steps out at about the 33 yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes at the 26. Davis picks up seven yards with that catch. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Notre Dame is looking to tie things up. away and it's good the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off and he got all of this one great kick he's to the 20 makes it to the 22 yard line This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Screen pass. He's got his half back. They'll knock him down for a loss. That's a loss of about five. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. from their own 17-yard line. Second down. And he's immediately tackled. And we'll go into halftime here with a score all deadlocked. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He's out of bounds at the 31. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. Step 
steps out of bounds at about the 49. And he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 40. Tackled after a decent pickup. From the 35 yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 34. That's a He's at the 20. Quick throw out to the receiver. And a huge touchdown play. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback, so the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 20-13. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes it out to about the 33. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. They get him in the backfield for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Newsom back to return it. Brought down the 37 yard line. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. North Carolina is up seven. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's a team four. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Talk about a booming punt. My goodness. Again, it's about stressing special teams. That is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Armstrong comes away with five yards on the carry. 
That brings him second and five. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Yeah. Tackle at the 12 yard line. On the run. Gain of one yard. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. First and ball. Down. Check, 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 check. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. It's second and ten. Ball on the 12. Quick throw. Tackled for a loss. Loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. And so it's another third down upcoming here. go with a run and he's going to be stopped short. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Newsom, the return man. He gets it away and this is a really nice punt. Newsom fields it at the 44 and he has it on the corner. Tackle at the 37. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. North Carolina is up a score. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he is drilled at the 28. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. it out to his receiver in a hurry. That brings him second and five. That's three down and one to go. North Carolina's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Fumble! Picks up the loose ball. He's into the open field. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. After review the play, the rule in the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. He's taken down at the two-yard line. Loss of one on the play. That brings him second and goal. North Carolina up seven points. Touchdown, Tar Heels. He 
makes the PAT. A five-play, 18-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. North Carolina's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Uh, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. It'll be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. And he's taken down at the 23. their own 23-yard line. Second down. And he's level at the 22-yard line. Come out in a five wide set. Quick strike to the receiver. And they push him out at the 29 yard line. it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That makes it second and six. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. Notre Dame's going to take their first time out of the half. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Sacked for a loss. That's a loss of eight yards. That will make it second and nine. Throwing left. They can't connect. Incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. We've got third and long here. Ball on the 19 yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Just under two minutes in the game. Aaron and out long. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. When the first down marker is that far away, 
someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. after a decent run up the gut. Anderson picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball on the draw play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. Brought down at the seven yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and goal. They're at the seven. Second down. Here's an opening. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it third and goal. This one's in the books. The Tar Heels get the victory, 27-13. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.